Mike Sim today. We're, uh, you can see Mike working the upper part of the beach. And uh, it, the tide's coming in right now, but that hasn't been a problem where we've been hunting. Um, it's just all this push up here. All this, this sand and, uh, and uh, items out of the surf have been pushed up. We've been finding sinkers, we've been finding nickels, quarters, and gold rings. So let's see if uh, that produces for us today. So I will be back and uh, nice see where it goes. Down here. I'm just below the the uh, the stormite tide line. Dug a green nickel, green quarter, and a dime so far. So just coins, but pretty decent weight. I'm glad I got my 15-inch coil on here because. A lot of these targets are deep. Not a great signal, it's kind of weak. It's not banging. Could be something small. Got my pinpointer. This would be a perfect opportunity for my pinpointer, but that's all right. Let's see what we got. Shake it out. Let's see what. See if we get something good here. Oh, all right, not good. Copper nail. All right, back to it. Targets here. Again, I'm just below that old storm tide line. Shallow mid tone target. It's liable to be a nickel. That's usually what it is, but guy can always hope for better. Let's see what we got. She's been down there. Okay, here we go. It's right in here. Let's see what we got. I'm shuffling around in there. And it's a, just what I thought, green nickel. All right, back to it. Sounds like a fairly deep signal. It's a coin signal. Let's see what we got here. Still down there. Third scoop. Everything's been deep today. Just about everything that is. And then you turn around and you find a nice ring that's very shallow, so you never know. Okay, what do we got? Shake it out! Shake it out! What do we... Ugh. A rotted zinc penny. Wonderful. Okay, back to it. We got an interesting uh, mid to low tone here. That's actually reading lower than a nickel. From what I can tell. Sometimes oddball pieces of jewelry will read like that. Mm -hmm. 
For those who have been watching my videos for a long time, you know I like to analyze these targets as they come out. So that's part of the fun of it for me. I'm trying to guess what kind of target it is before I dig it out. Let's see what I got in here. Got it? Yeah, I see a little bit of rust. That could explain the, the strange signal. Yep, there you go. I'll do it every time. What do you got? Ah, rusted, degraded bottle cap with a nice big halo around it. But you gotta dig them out. Alright, back to it. He was a little embarrassed because this is only a silver ring. Um, I want gold! Yeah, well. I'm going to start calling you Gary Drayton because uh, apparently this is not good enough. And so, so he's going to throw this in his pouch with the have, rest of his I'm change. Just going to throw that back in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll grow up a little bit. But that's okay. I'm, uh, we'll take silver any day of the week. Nice one. All right. Back, to it. back up in the reeds again. Nice strong mid tone. Let's see what we got down here. Yeah. Not that deep, which is good. Wow, what do you think it is? Nickel? Nickel, nickel, nickel. Nickel! Okay. So it is, green nickel. Back to it. Midtone. Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't like that. Nah. Turned the crap on me. Well, not really. Tell me, there might be something other than a coin. No, no, and it is. It's definitely something other than a coin. Uh, okay. It's amazing. These beer caps, these steel beer caps, once they get like this, they just send this halo out and it fools the hell out of you. I don't care if you have a Excalibur, a Sovereign, CTX 3030, you're still going to get fooled by this stuff. Okay, back to it. It's a mid-tone, but it's a little bit clippy. You got to dig these, though. You can't, you can't pass these up. I don't know what they would say on a CTX meter, but yeah, that's uh, that was the feeling I was getting. I see the rust. That's it. Once you break that halo, you can usually tell, though. All right. I'm digging my share of these suckers. Okay, back to it. I got one. This is pretty far down for me. I, I've been hunting a lot higher up. It sounds like it's fairly deep. It sounds like a coin. It's down there. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking penny or dime. Could be wrong. Let's see what it is. Still thinking penny or dime, but be nice if it was a quarter. But I've been getting lower denominations down low. They're lighter targets. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Oh my god. 
zinc penny. A large ball of sand concretion type thing. Ugh. Okay. Back to it. I doubt it's a bottle cap. I've been known to be burned before, but just the feeling I got. The second thought. Hmm. I kind of knocked it on edge. You never know. You really got to dig these suckers out. Because these targets sitting in sand like this, so they'll move on you. They'll 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 get pushed on edge. Now listen to it. Sound just like a coin signal. See it, but let's see what we got. It's in the scoop. And the verdict is not another one of these things. Ugh. Yep, another zinc penny and a big concretion. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, yep. That's it, back to it. <coughs> okay, I'm cutting these, I'm hunting these old washouts. You can see where they come into the beach. I'll take, see if I can get a picture of that. It sounds like a quarter almost. It's kind of warbly. Please don't be a bottle cap. It's too high to be a bottle cap, so I'm thinking it's a quarter. Hear how warbly that is? I love that signal. Love that sound. Sometimes a nice piece of jewelry, so let's see what we got. And it's what I originally thought it was. Green quarter. Okay, back to it. Let's see what we got. Sounds just like the rest of the nickels I'm digging. But, might be something good. What the hell? Oh no. Uh, oh my god. You hear that blippy? How blippy that is. Yeah. Uh, but you don't know until you get it out of the hole. Unfortunately. Here's the deal. Alright, that's it. Sounds deep. Let's see what we got. Two scoops. Oh, I get him too. Yep, two scoops in the scoop. And I hear something shuffling. I know it's small. Green time. Okay. Green time. Okay, you got a nice midtone in here. See what we got. Hmm, one scoop. Yep. See, I knocked it on its side. So you, that's what you got to be so careful of, because in the sand you'll knock a target on its side in a heartbeat. Huh. Hearing something down there. Signal effectively disappeared on me. Ah, it's a 
because I knocked it out here. I don't think it's anything good. Looks like a piece of copper. What is this? Yeah. Ribbon, is it? I think it's it? It's a little piece of copper. Yeah, like a rivet. Or a nail head or something. Okay. The Nothing difference different. with a, basically an air test, I'm just putting these on top of the ground, of a U.S. nickel and one of these steel rusted bottle caps. And I told you about the halo effect, uh, so I'm not going to be able to really reproduce that, but uh, let me just show you the, the difference between the two. It's smooth through the whole swing. Now listen, listen carefully to this. Hear that? Hear how blippy that is? It's kind of like a, like a, almost like a, like a raspberry, like a, like a. Hear that? It sounds like somebody's giving you a raspberry. And there's that raspberry effect. When that steel bottle cap is down under the sand and it's created a halo effect around it, it sounds beautiful, just like that. Very hard to tell apart. And I find that with the Excalibur and uh, and the and the uh, the Sovereign with any of the coils. And even though I have not used the CTX, I know more than a few people that dig a lot of these because they can't tell them apart when it comes to the halo effect. All right, back to it.